Brian Shaw Shaw shares something in common with the legendary Bill Kazmaier, both men have placed top three at the world's strongest man a total of five times. Shaw, a two-time WSM winner, has posted bests of 972 pounds in the deadlift and 1,122 pounds in the Hummer tired deadlift in competition. In the gym, he's credited with squatting 825 pounds, benching 535 pounds, and deadlifting 985 pounds. Zydrunas Savakis In our opinion, Zydrunas Savakis, the strongest man of all time. You just can't argue with these numbers. Savakis has won the Arnold Strongman Classic seven times, which is considered a truer test of pure strength than the better-known WSM competition. In 2005, he broke three world records en route to victory at the IFSA Strongman World Championship. The following year, he again took top honors. Savakis placed second at the WSM competition in 2002, 2003, and 2004, usually dominating the events that involved pure strength while not doing as well in those that required speed and agility. In 2009, he broke the streak by winning the WSM, an accomplishment he'd repeat in 2010, 2012, and 2014. In 14, Savakis also set a new world record with a 500-pound log lift to complement his other impressive totals, a raw squat of 880 pounds, a 900-pound deadlift, and a 629-pound burr. We think one man has him beat. Bill Kazmaier. Kaz is considered by many to be the strongest of the strong, and it's hard to argue. The winner of the 80, 81, and 82 WSM contests, Kazmaier was barred from competing in 1983 by the event's organizers because it was assumed that so long as he competed, no one else would ever get the chance to savor victory. Kaz was the first man to lift all five McGlashan stones, which weigh between 90 and 160 kilograms. His 661-pound bench press stood as the world record for years, and if not for a pec tear shortly thereafter, he would have surely bested it himself. His 2,425-pound total, set back in 1981, is still the record for raw powerlifting today. Paul Anderson Paul Anderson's name may be the most controversial one on this list. Proclaimed by some to be far and away the strongest man who ever lived, he also has his share of skeptics. Whether he really squatted 1,200 pounds is open to debate, but Dr. Todd personally witnessed him squat 700 for 8 reps in an exhibition, at a time when the official world record 1RM for the squat was about 700 pounds Anderson won an Olympic gold medal. For the US in weightlifting in Melbourne, Australia, in 1956. Andy Bolton Britain's Andy Bolton is the first man in history to have deadlifted 1,000 pounds twice during competition he eclipsed his own accomplishment with poles of 1,000 and three pounds and a then record one zero zero eight pounds bolton holds the fourth highest squat of all time and his three lift total of two thousand eight hundred and six point three four pounds ranks third highest in history he once stated his goal was to break the mythical three thousand pound total a feat not even dreamed of by most powerlifters of any era. Leonid Taranenko Taranenko set the world record in weightlifting for the clean and jerk and total, 475 kilograms, or 1,045 pounds, way back in 1988, and Ian in weightlifting years, and these records still stand today. Due to restructuring by the International Weightlifting Federation of its weight classes, Taranenko's official records no longer stand, but his lifts have yet to be equaled. You know how hard it is to bench six plates? Imagine lifting it overhead. Now that's power. Vassal Virastiuk. Virastiuk is the first person ever to be declared the strongest man alive in both the world's strongest man and IFSA World Championship competitions, winning in 2004 and 2007, respectively. In fact, he edged out the man who tops this list when he achieved victory at the IFSA contest. Additionally, the Ukrainian strongman took second place at the Arnold Strongman Classic on three occasions. Now 40, Virastiuk has been retired from competition for some time, but his accomplishments and his legacy live on. Louis Uni It's especially difficult to calculate just where Uni, aka Apollon the Mighty, should rank among the all-time greats, as chronicles of his feats are mostly florid, non-critical accounts. But he was known for his great grip strength and large hands, which rendered him capable of lifting bars others couldn't even fit their hands around. Uni was also quite possibly the world's first strength athlete, being an extremely fit and agile man who took on all comers in wrestling challenges. Brian Siders. Siders belongs on this impressive list for his overall strength, he excels in all three power lifts with personal bests of 1,019 pounds in the squat, 799 pounds on the bench, and a deadlift of 865 pounds for a 2,651 pound total. His best raw lifts include 650 pounds on the bench and 840 pounds in the deadlift. Siders takes pride in having achieved the aforementioned feats without the use of performance enhancement, meaning that his strength derives purely from genetic blessings and brutally hard work.